All right, welcome to SeanCheek.com. <clears throat> it's a website that I created that is dedicated to learning to play the piano by reading actual music notation. I have another website called WebPianoTeacher.com that teaches you to play by ear, you know, using chords and, and just uh, hearing things and playing that way. This site is dedicated to reading music. Um, a lot of people are frustrated with reading music. Um, if you have trouble reading music at all, you need to try my 50 sight reading boot camp lessons. I'm going to do another series as well. It's going to have 50 more, but those 50 will get you started on learning to read music better and faster. If you've had trouble in the past reading music, if you did the wrong things uh, when you were learning, you just, you know, just uh, hit a brick wall and just can't read music and are frustrated with it, try my method. <clears throat> it works. Uh, and so if you have trouble reading, I'm going to assume you can read some music. If you're playing Chopin's Revolutionary Etude, I'm going to assume that you can sort of read music, okay? If you can't, you need to do those lessons first on my website on seancheek.com to uh, really uh, memorize your bass and treble staff and, and so forth. But this, you know, this piece has many more difficulties besides just reading it. It's an etude. Um, Chopin wrote many etudes. Uh, there's this set of uh, 24, I think there's, there's 25 if you include the posthumous one, but uh, very difficult, some of them. Uh, some of them are really difficult. This is not one of the ones that's really difficult, because I've, I've played through all of these and, and studied many of them in college. This is one I, I played that, that ended up not being as difficult as some of the others, but uh, it's really good for your left hand. He didn't write many etudes that worked on left hand uh, problems, so this is uh, one that... It's very valuable. But let's jump in. We have... And that's the first little opener. Now, of course, I'm not playing it up to speed. I'm not going to. Um, if you want to hear up to speed, listen to some live performances on uh, YouTube. So we're, we're learning how to read this and how to play it. We're in the key of um, C minor. So we have three flats automatically. And... <clears throat> we take a look here. Um, B, E, and A are flat. So automatic B flat, E flat, and A flat. Anytime you have those three letters, you're going to flat them. Um, and we're going to have lots of accidentals as well. Remember, flats last the whole measure, sharps last the whole measure, accidentals last the whole measure. Naturals as well, so keep that in mind. If you have a B natural way over here and you have another B, nat B over here, it's natural as well, as long as it's in the same measure. So be aware of that. So we're in three flats. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to start with the right hand. And I, I do recommend playing a lot of left hand separate, okay, by itself. Work on that left hand by itself. Uh, and then, you know, learn the right hand as well, but then put them together. But make sure that you do some left hand separate practice. That's very important on this. Alright, so the right hand first is going to have this big chord at the beginning. And the bottom note here is a B natural with my thumb. And then a D above that. An F above that. A G above that. And a B natural above that. So all five fingers. B, D, F, G, B. Here's middle C. So we're... Play that, and I'm going to come in with my left hand. Alright, so um, we got to learn this. we got to do a good fingering. I'll show you some fingerings. I don't use the ones that are written in here, so I'll show you the ones I do. I'm going to start with the left hand up high on an A flat. Okay, it's C, E, G are the ledger lines there, so one above is an A flat with a two. I'm going to go down with G with my one finger, and then a two on an F. So A flat, G, F, that's the first three, right there. A flat, G, F, but two, one, two, bop, bop, bop. Then I'm going to do uh, a fourth finger on a D, and then E flat with my third finger. Then I'm going to come on it with one, like the fingering says here. So really only the, the first note is the one I don't use my fingering on. The other ones I'm, I'm following what's ha what it has here. And then... Um, then I'm going to go to 2 on B natural. See the B natural there on 2? And then down to 4 on G. And then A flat here with a 3. And then under, uh, then put my thumb on the G that's next. 
then I'm going to go D, F, and then I'm going to go E flat, and then a D with my one finger, my thumb. There. So real slowly, let's start this run here. Okay, it's just a pattern that happens over and over again. So the pattern is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight notes long. So after you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you have the pattern again for the next note. Next, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, it goes to here. Then it happens again. So let's do that. Let's notice patterns. Bop, 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 bop. And then, ah, oh, did it wrong again. To there. Then the next group is here. And the next group is here. Da 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 da. da. And then it, it changes right right here. This is different. So it does it kind of two and a half times. Okay? Two, one, two, four, three, one, two, four, three, one, two, four. So when you get to the D here, that's when the pattern stops. And then we're just going to go. C to G, C, G, C, G, C, G, C, G. We're going to do that four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's what you need to practice. Notice my left hand is kind of tilted to the right. It helps me with that thumb coming under. Okay. All right, we already learned the right hand. I hear So it goes one. And a two, and a three, and a four. Of course, up the speed. Alright, but you have to practice it slowly, correctly. Don't try to go fast. You never will if you try to go fast. You have to play it slowly thousands of times. And yes, thousands. Uh -huh. before you'll start to get that speed. Your body, it takes that many times for your body to figure out what to do. <clears throat> Nothing replaces that. I don't care how much talent you have. The physical you know, motions of playing it, you have to play it thousands of times. Alright, now the, the right hand, here we have A flat, and then up to an E flat, and then an F, and then an A flat on the top. And then down to a G octave. So, ba, ba, and you play the first chord with that first group, and then you play the, the G with the last G there on the left hand. So it's one, two, three, four. All right, so let's do these two measures slowly. Ready, go. One. is actually still kind of fast. You can even play it slower. Okay, but you'll have to sit down and, and grind that out. I'm gonna, I teach the whole thing on my website, SeanCheek.com. This is the free part one that I put on YouTube. Okay, this is what I do for a living, so can't make it all free. So those are the first two measures, and we do the whole piece on the website. Hope you enjoy it.